Hey ladies, this is Constance. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you enjoy the content. And if you do, consider subscribing. Hit the like button and the notification bell. This way you will be alerted every time I upload a video. For those of you who have already joined the Cute and Comfortable Club, thank you for rocking with me. I truly appreciate you. In today's video, it's going to be a little chit chat where I've been um, about the Sergeant Majors reunion because I don't think I talked to you guys about that. I think I came right back and went into five ways to dress the linen shirt. So that's what I did, but I want to talk to you today about what's been going on with me in my life. I want you to help me declutter this closet. I have gotten a few new pieces in far as clothing items and shoe wear. And one thing about getting a closet system, I don't want to have it overcrowded. So if I get something in and I don't have enough room for it and I want it to look a little bit organized, then I'll pull something out that I'm not really reaching for. And also on this side with a clothing area. So if that's something you interested in, then keep on watching. My outfit of the day is just gym clothes. This is a Lululemon top. Very, very old. And then I have on some lululemon pants and just some socks because we're working so what i'm gonna do is go through this section first on a shelf up there which this camera does not move with me so i don't know if you're able to see what's on this shelf but all it is is just cashmere sweater so i'm just gonna leave those there because i will be uh, using those again but this little area right here is just really, really, really tight. So, I'm going to get a few things out. Save my hanger. So, this floor is about to look real, real crazy. And I don't even know why this is in here. This is like a table runner. All these things that I'm pulling out that I'm not going to keep, I'm going to put it on my Poshmark account. And I'll have that stuff linked in the description box. So that's one item I'm not keeping. This is another item that I'm not going to keep because it's too small. There's just some extra hangers. This one I will keep and this one I will keep. So we're going to put these back. These things. This right here, I'll keep this because this is really good for like going to the beach and things like that. This one, I'm gonna keep this one, but I'm gonna take it to my other closet that's downstairs in my masters because this is like a good old house dress. Run to the store real quick. You don't feel like doing that. You get your shower really fast. You throw a dress on like this with some nice little slides and head on out the door and you still keep. So I'll keep that. This one. Let me hang this back up so I can show this to you. This one I'm not really going to keep because it doesn't fit properly. It doesn't have any pockets either. Oh my bummer. But anyway, I, I bought this because it would be really good for walking around the beach this is a good beach wear with some slides but it doesn't fit properly so you got to get rid of that anything ladies anything that does not fit you properly have snags on it have beads or something like that that you can't like shave off with a bead shaver get rid of it or take it to your tailor and see if they can fix it if you really want it that bad you know but for me i don't really want that that bad so this dress I'll keep because that's a cute little dress too. This one I'll keep. This one I'll keep. 
so who dropped it anyway I just don't know I don't know now y'all I don't know let's see this one right this dress right here was on was on her this dress was on her for a very long time and the reason why she was on her is because I couldn't fit it. It was too small for me. So I figured I'd put it on my mannequin and let her style it for me. So one day I was up here putting some stuff up probably that I had just bought. And I took her off and I'm like, let me try it on. And she looks good. So if you go to my Instagram page, you'll see me styling this dress. But I took off this mannequin and look what I paired her with. Even though I can fit this dress, I figured that I'm going to come up with a name for her. You guys help me come up with a name for her. And she's going to style clothes as well. So I figured I'll just take her and have, because she always in the video. So she might as well have on some cute little outfits too. So I'm going to come up with a name. I want you guys to help me come up with a name for her. So we're going to name her something and we're going to style her as well. So both of us will be modeling clothes. So this, of course, I'm going to keep because I just started wearing it. And this dress right here, I don't know, that's a maybe. So I got a maybe pal. So I'm going to have a maybe pal. I'm going to have definitely a sale pal. And then I'll have a goodwill pal. So this dress I'll keep. This is a nice dress. It looks boxy, but it looks really good on. This one I will keep. This one right here. I don't know where I got this dress. I think I, yeah, I did. Because it's a true and time and true. This dress. <laughs> and that's all. I'm laughing because the tag says time and true maternity and i done wore this dress so many times just sliding around so this dress and this dress does this one come from Walmart? i don't know where this one came from but anyway these are like little house dresses you don't feel like you know like getting really really dialed up throw something on like this fix your hair throw some cute little um earrings on and some sandals and go on about your business Okay, this is a denim dress I got from Gap. I think I showed you guys this one. I'm going to keep this one, but this one looks like it needs cleaning. So, put that over there for cleaning. This is a nice dress. I like this one. So, what I'm going to do to save time is try to go through. I'm not going to go through every last piece of clothing i'm just gonna flip through them and take out what i'm not wearing that i haven't worn in a very long time and that i need to make space for other stuff even though i have another closet in my masters but i actually do come up here i don't only come up here and film i actually come up here and dress myself so this is another one of those little beach wear outfits that doesn't fit me properly, so that has to go. This dress look really, really short, but it looks really, really good on, so I will be keeping this. This one I will be keeping. And this dress, I have no idea why I got this. Joe, here it is, chic, chic wish. But this dress is way too small. So I will be getting rid of this. So these dresses will be on Poshmark. Give it a couple of days because I got to put them all on there. So give me a few days to do all of this. So like I said, I'm going to go through these really quickly. Show you. what I'm not this dress I don't like the way this oh shoot <laughs> I don't like the way this is a cute dress 
This is a cute dress. I paid a lot of money for this dress too. However, the quality is not there. So I'm gonna put this over in the maybe pile. It's a This is another dress. Where did I get this dress from? Oh, this is another dress that's too small that came from shit with that blue one, that flower one. It came from the same thing. You see the tag still on it. Chic Wish. Which Chic Wish. And it buttons down like this. So cute little dress. This is on backwards. This is backwards. I'm like, this is on backwards. Okay. So, here we go. So, this pile right here, like I said, is going to be on Poshmark. It probably be on part. I probably keep it on Poshmark probably about maybe uh maybe two months and then what does not sell I'll take it off Poshmark and then donate it but this is another one even though this dress looks short when you put it on it's not that short it comes to about right here but it's going okay so that completes that Okay, now we're moving into this section right here. So I'm gonna just take these down. These are just swimsuits, bikinis, and four. And four. I'm gonna put it down there anyway. <laughs> so I'm taking these down so I can put them in the drawer. They don't need to be hanging up here. And this is a velvet jacket. That I usually wear around the holiday times, but it's going. It's going. The rest of this is like silk blouses, button down blouses, that type of thing. I got a sweater up here. And that's pretty good. So I'm good with that. On this chef, what is this? Sweaters. These are some little slides that you put on when you have on some high heel shoes and you at the, not at the club because I wouldn't take my shoes off at the club. A lot of people do, but these just in case. These are like you put these in your purse. These little slippers, let me take them back out the pouch. You put these in your purse like little shoes, little slippers. Little slippers you put in your purse. Put these in your purse. When you got on some cute high heel shoes like them Kristen Louboutins over there that kill your feet. Put them on. And when their feet start hurting, then you throw these on. These need to be over there with the shoes. I don't know what this is. Some earrings and I think I got this one I bought a wig or something. But anyway, we're gonna look at that. We'll figure out somewhere to do that. We're trying to organize this closet so it can look good. So it's just a couple of sweaters down here. My waist trainer get wasted. That's what this is. This thing is super long too. Look at it. Super long. But this is my waist trainer. And I got this from Get Wasted. And it still look good because I hardly ever wear it. I probably need to wear it every day. And what is this? Some pants. Some <laughs> this, don't, this don't belong up here either. See, sometimes you just gotta go through. Look at this. That don't belong up there. And this is a scarf. What I'm gonna do with this, but we'll see. Sometimes you just have to go through your closet and declutter and get organized because if you walk into your home, your home is not organized, into your closet and it's not organized, your thought process is not organized. So ladies, go through your stuff, your drawers every now and then, go through your drawers and clean out your underwear drawers, 
clean out your sock drawers, your bra drawers, see what's working and what's not working. I'm cleaning this out to see what's working and not working and picked out a lot of stuff up here because I want to be able to add more stuff. Stuff that I'm not using, why is it there anyway? Why are you have stuff that you're not using? You don't need it. Donate it. Let's donate it or sell it. Put it on Poshmark or eBay or wherever. Just put it all in the bag and take it to the Goodwill. Because if you're not using it, it's just taking up space. And even if you're not going to replace it with anything, at least you can just flip through your stuff and see it and it ain't all bunched together like this. That's, that doesn't even make sense at all. So clean and declutter your closet. Things that you haven't worn. Get, if you ain't worn it in a year, you ain't definitely probably ain't going to wear it next year. If you ain't worn it this year, you probably ain't going to wear it next year. So get rid of it. So, let's continue on. I love these little outfits right here. These are really, really cute. So, I'm going to keep these. So, let me go through the rest of it. This I know I'm not going to wear. So, this will be on Poshmark. So, I got my leather skirts, my faux leather skirts, some skorts. You know what? I really haven't worn this skirt. Um, I'm going to put this in a maybe pile because I haven't worn it. I wore that last year, so I may wear this shit. This I want. So that pretty much completes this area. Let me show y'all my perfume. I don't think you guys ever seen my perfume. Okay, ladies, this is my perfume collection. If you ever want me to do a video on my perfume, then let me know. But this is my perfume collection. I've always been a perfume girl. If you go back to my old videos, you'll see I got a video on my perfume collection. But this is just some of it. I got some downstairs too. All right, back to the clothes, decluttering. Before we move on to this section right here, let me talk about the Sergeant Majors reunion. First of all, let me stop and say thank you to all participated in helping me pick out a dress. The dress that I went with was the second dress, the black one with the sequins on it with the shawl that went with it. I went with that dress. We have a Sergeant Majors reunion once every two years. And I haven't been to one in about seven years. So I was very excited to go to the Sergeant Majors reunion. I guess to the Sergeant Majors reunion. Huntsville, Alabama is where it was held at. Goes into the hotel, checks in, asks the people, where do I sign in and where's the, you know, you know, like they usually, well, I don't know if you guys know or not, but usually they have like a meet and greet table. You go, you check in, you know, they check your name off, give you a bag and all that and tell you where to go. No, the front desk personnel person it did not tell me, oh, they canceled the Sergeant Major's reunion. So I was like, really? When? It was like, so she went and got the manager and the manager came out and he said, well, they canceled it back in April. They canceled it back in April for lack of participation. So I was like, okay, fine. Hey, I plan to be here for the weekend. I'm going to stay for the weekend. I'm just going to have myself a good time. I wasn't upset. I was like, hey, things happen. So as I checked in and I was on my way out of the door to go let my husband know, there were two sergeant majors standing by the door and they looked like they was mad. Like they didn't just come from hell because they were, <laughs> they were steaming. They were so upset. They had their little sergeant major hats on and everything, you know, because they coming to represent. It was like, oh, are you sergeant major? I'm like, yes, I'm a sergeant major. So it was like, okay, well, I just got in contact with the guy that's sponsoring the sergeant major's reunion and he's on his way down here because he's going to fix this mess. I was like, okay. All right, so I was like, well, you're right. I said, we're Sergeant Majors. If Sergeant Majors is putting on something, we're like the top of the food chain. 
it should be organized and done to perfection. That's how I think. But I wasn't upset. I mean, I'm here now. I'm going to have a good time. I plan to be there for the weekend. I'm here for the weekend. So I go tell my husband what what had went on and everything. I goes back in to the hotel because my husband wanted a luggage car. So I went back in and Sergeant Major said, well, when he gets here, we'll you know call you over. So you can see what he has to say and fix the whole thing. So make a long story short, the guy came and he said, you know, after we talked to him about, you know, professionalism and us as an E9 and we're at the top of the food chain and all of this and all of that. And he was like, OK, so he felt real bad about that. So he said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make it right for you guys. So he said, I'm paying for all of you guys rooms. So, of course, the ones that was over there steaming hot, they got real happy, okay? Because <laughs> uh, one person came from Birmingham, Alabama, and another person came from somewhere in Georgia. I forgot where he told me he came from in Georgia. And, of course, you guys know that I'm in Alpharetta, Georgia. And he went to the front desk. He pulled out his credit card and he said, pay for all their nights. Leave my credit card on file and make sure that they're taken care of for their entire stay. I was staying for the whole three days anyway. I think the one that came from one other part of Georgia, I don't know what part that was. He was he had planned on staying for one night. And the other guy was planning on staying for one night, too. But after the Sergeant Major that was sponsoring the reunion said that he was paying for our rooms, he upped his to two nights. So he paid for my entire stay. He took us out to dinner for that night. And he told them, you know, whatever we wanted, whatever we needed to take care of us. And I ain't seen no more other Sergeant Majors there. But the front desk guy told me people were checking in. But they left and went back wherever they came from. So that's what happened at the Sergeant Majors reunion. I was It was no reunion. I was not able to wear the dress that you guys picked out. But I do appreciate it. So later on that month. Well actually like that long ago. I, last week. Last week I went to. My husband and I took a vacation. And we went to Cabo, Mexico. I tried to film that. I did do like some little snippets. You guys have to follow me on Instagram. That's where it's happening after all these little things that you're missing on YouTube. Go over to Instagram, Constance Thompson, and then cute underscore and underscore comfortable. Cute and comfortable, but the underscore is in between the ands. So cute underscore and underscore comfortable. It'll be in the description box. Follow me on Instagram so you can get the stuff that's not on YouTube. So we went to Cabo. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. Yes, so we did. So that's uh, something else that I had not done. But in the meantime, when I came home, I decided I wanted to go shopping. So when I turn this way, I'll show you the things that I bought on that side. This side, I bought a couple of blouses. Let me get them for you. So I bought a couple of linen tops. Because linen is really, really cool in the summertime. Cotton, 100% cotton and linen is really cool in the summertime. So I got a black one because I already got a white one. Y'all saw me style that one. So I got a white one, a black one, and now I have a yellow one. I wish they would come out with some more colors because I will buy them. But I'll style these for you guys. And not today because we are what? Decluttering. Getting rid of stuff because we buying new stuff and we getting rid of stuff that we no longer reach for or have worn in a long time. Now, these suits right here, I might keep them for a little while. <laughs> I'm telling you, get rid of stuff you ain't worn in a long time. I hadn't worn you know what? I'm going to go ahead on and get rid of them. Because I, ha I haven't worn them. I really haven't. These suits, I bought these suits when I was working. I had worked in God knows when. I retired a long time ago. Let me see. How long has it been? I think it's been seven years. Yeah, seven years since I retired from corporate. And these 
visitor things that I was wearing, but they nice suits, you know, but some of these are blazers. We'll go through them. But what I want you to know, if you're going to go and try to purchase some of these things that I am purging, I am a size 14 all over because I am a 38 double D, sometimes triple D in the bra, in the chest area. So I have to get a size 14, especially if it's a dress, a jumpsuit, because I have to account for this area here. In the bottoms, I'm a size 12. In the shoes, I am an eight and a half, nine. Okay, remember that. So you know if you want to go get some of this stuff, you know what my sizes are. All right, back to over here. I'm going to start down here. I don't, no, let me start off here. Let me show you what this stuff is. This is what, whatever we're going to call the mannequin, she had this purse on. I think I carried this purse one or two times. And I bought it from Jay McLaughlin. I bought it for Jay McLaughlin, but guess what? It's going on Poshmark because I don't even carry it. It was just decoration. These bags right here that's hanging up here, these are all the shingling bags, the petite garage bags. I'll take them out so you can see them. Oh, I think you saw this one. So that's this one. Set it over here so I can put it back in a sleeve. This little green and blue one, this one is really cute too. This purple one. I think you guys seen this one too. I think I filmed this one. That one and the yellow one. And this one is a chocolate brown. So the only place that I have for this is on this rack right here. But I don't know if I'm gonna put it right there though. I think I gotta when we get on that side I'll show you. And I'll probably get like some command hooks and put it on there and let them display on that side over there so I'll go through that in a minute let's go down here first so down here is four leather pants I took a lot of stuff out already uh, these are some garage pants I got these on garage these are some really comfortable pants, but they need hemming. So these need to go to the tailor. I'll put them in the back. Because they need to go to the tailor. These pants right here are some nice pants. They're very comfortable and everything. I'm going to put these on Poshmark because something. I think they got a spot on them. But you can barely see it. I don't know. I can't find it. Okay, we'll put this in the maybe. Maybe. These gray ones here. Parsh mark. These, I told you guys I was going to take these to the tailor. I ain't took them yet, so I'm going to put them over here. They need to go to the tailor. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I like these pants, but I had to warm. Oh gosh. These are from Chico's. These are those traveler paint. They are so comfortable. I don't know why I'm grabbing them. I put them in the maybes. Those are going maybes. And here's another pair, just a different color. They're just slightly a different color. And I'll put these over in maybes as well. Okay, that's it for that. 
All right, let's go uh, through these suits. Ooh, I don't know, y'all. I think I want to keep these for another year just to see if I will wear these. I did wear this one, though. Let me show you what it looked like. Uh, I did wear this one. You can tell this one is old. It's so old. It didn't come. <laughs> this was so old. It didn't come back in style. It's the wide leg pants with the cuffs on. They ain't wearing no cuffs no more. But this is a nice suit. I think I wore this suit two years ago. So I'm going to keep this. Because I don't have a lot of suits. Uh. And this one is from Chico's and this one is going on Harsh Marsh. So that completes this section. Let's get over to the shoes. This is going to be really quick because it ain't many shoes I'm getting rid of. But I know I already put these on Poshmark. These are Michael Kors shoes. They are very in very good condition. They are already on Poshmark. Uh, again, eight and a half, nine. So I'm put these back down here, and let's see. Scanny. I put these wedges. I don't think I put these on there yet, but these are going on. I'm getting rid of these. These are wedges. So these are going, let's see, what else, 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 what else? Oh, while I'm over here, let me show you. These are a recent purchase. These are the Fendi calf boots. They come right here. These are the calligraphy. I believe these are called a calligraphy. And the reason why they call them that is because there's two F's on the side. This is the time that you need to be buying your fall winter stuff. I have been telling you guys over and over and over again that designer items go on sale in June. We are in July and they are still having a sale. So catch it before it goes. I mean, 50 to 75% off. Come on. If you into luxury designer stuff, this is the time to go get it before it's like over. Then you got to wait till December. But December is right around the corner. So anyways, I got these Fendi boots. Let me see anything else new up here. No. So let's go over to this side. Okay. On this side... I believe well these will be going these will be going hey put these like this these shoes are these like booties they from Zara the zip in the front so these I but yeah these are already on Poshmark these are already on there so if you like them go on and purchase them So, so far in this area, that's, well, I don't know. I think I'm going to put these on, too. These are Dark Martins. Yeah, I'm going to put these on, too. I wore these, I believe I wore these twice. So, I'm going to put these on. If you don't see them on there, it's because of change from my mind. But I believe I'm going to put those on there. Right, let's walk over here and see. These are already on there. These are AGLs. 
The man name is so long. That's why he abbreviated it as AGL. But these are already on there. These I'm going to put on there because I don't reach for them. These are Stuart Weitzman. I don't reach for these at all. These are maybe. I'm not sure about these yet, but these are maybe. They may be going on there. This is just what's sticking out this boot. It's just some stuffing that I put in here, some bubble stuff. I put in here to hold its shape. But these may go. We'll see. These may go on there. And what else do I have? These shoes are by Kelly Rowland. They came out last year. And these are definitely on there right now. Yeah. Kelly Rowland. And I got these from Just Fat. They on there right now. I got both pair on there. Selling them as a bundle. So if you want them, go on there and get them. All right, ladies, I am done purging for now. I'll probably come back in here later on once I get all the items on Poshmark and then take another look around. But I told you I purchased some things. I already showed you the Fendi boots. Now I'm going to show you the handbags. And this one I already styled. This is a Brandon Blackwood bag. And if you do not know, Brandon Blackwood is a black designer out of New York. So this is his bag, and it is a really nice quality bag. All of this is leather right here. And the craftsmanship of this bag is immaculate. It is very nice. So I got this one bag from Brandon Blackwood. I got this bag from Brandon Blackwood, which is absolutely gorgeous. I hadn't carried this one yet. And it got feet at the bottom. This one is from Brandon Blackwood as well. This one is by Valentino. This is like an olive green. I guess it's like an olive green or lime green mixed with olive or something. But anyway, this would be really nice to wear with white, yellow, even some brown. So, get some different pieces in your wardrobe so you can mix it up with some things that you have. As a matter of fact, that um, yellow linen top. Oops, something fell. This will go good with this yellow linen top. Look at that. That goes really well with that. And last but not least... The most beautiful one of all, my Chanel 19. Can I get applause for the Chanel 19? <laughs> yes, I finally got my Chanel 19. And in the color that I wanted, you guys should see the hardware on this. Oh my goodness gracious, it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, ladies, that is it. My purchases, four bags and a pair of boots. Get on to them sales. Well, y'all know, Chanel don't. <laughs> None of these were on sale. None of them. None of these were on sale. Was the boots on sale? The boots were on sale. None of the handbags. Wait a minute, take that back. What was on sale was the Fendi boots. And the Valentino bag. The rest of them were not on sale. They were regular price. That's it. Those are my new purchases. All right, ladies. See you in the next video. Toodles.